Have you ever seen designs like this? Or this? But how often do you actually see websites with such designs? At first glance, it might seem that such a design for your landing page or website would be a great solution, attracting lots of attention and giving your product a fantastic start. But is that really the case? Let's dive in. Welcome back to WebOS. Today we are going to find out if turning your website into a motion video is actually a good idea. In recent years, videos have gained popularity where UI designers, yes, UI designers, not UX, showcase their website designs with captivating animations set to cool music. The truth is, most of these designs will remain just that, designs, never becoming functional websites. The fact is, while they are indeed beautiful and enchanting, their development often comes with terrible optimization, accessibility issues and problems with responsiveness across different device types. Michal Malevich in his book Designing User Interface wrote, many of those designs are either impossible to code, unusable or not accessible. Bringing them back towards something that works would often require a lot of changes. And it's absolutely true. Websites and landing pages should primarily encourage users to take a target action, subscribe, make a purchase, sign up for a newsletter. The main focus on the initial page should be directed toward this, not to mention that in our time, every second of loading or unnecessary information on the screen can cost a business its potential client. The emphasis when creating a website should be on the content quality and accessibility, with animation a secondary consideration to create a positive aesthetic effect, not the other way around. The best solution is to use animation in the hero section of the website, where you can highlight brand individuality or redirect attention to the target action. Microanimations have also become a very popular way to use animations recently. These are often barely noticeable animations that emphasize the completion or result of a target action. This way your website will be accessible to the maximum number of users, have good SEO optimization, high CTR while not losing attractiveness in the eyes of users. Sounds good, right? Michal Malevich also wrote, that's why it's good to use them as inspiration for visual ideas while being critical and judging the usability of everything you see. So use these designs as inspiration for creating your own websites, but never rely on them completely. Especially since designers want to have the sum of money for such work, which may not necessarily return to you. Not to mention that finding a front-end developer who agrees to implement this is also not so easy. That's all for now, you've been watching WebVoice. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you want a video about the best UI UX practices for beginners, let me know in the comments. This video would be useful for both aspiring designers and front-end developers. Now stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. You stay